Hi everyone, it's Laura at Hyperstamper and I'm really, really excited to show you this journal. This is um, a vintage book called French Short Stories and it was uh, published in America for um, English language studies. And I put some vintage beads down the side that I felt matched the cover. It's just a beautiful cover with a, a French chateau here. And I've added some antique crochet here. And this is actually a piece of the table runner from this piece. And it wraps around the back. I've left it all intact here. And I absolutely stuffed it with as much French ephemera as I could find. And I've just been collecting it because I get an awful lot of requests for French ephemera. So I decided to just blow it all and put it into this journal. So let me show you the inside. I think you're going to love it. Um, first pocket here has a antique paper from another uh, book I have called Le Petit Chardinel. And I just put some antique paper on the back for journaling, but I just thought that the image on there was really fun. I left the original first pages in the book, as I always do. And up here, I thought this lace kind of had a fleur-de-lis pattern on it. It's not, but it looks like it. And I pulled this from a 1938 French book. Some Just some pretty little children's pages, not French, but lovely. And then over here, this is also from 1937. This is from the California Troubadour. And um, it's got poems, but down here I pulled from a French English dictionary, Amour, which is French for love. And I just made even as many clusters with French ephemera as I could possibly. Now look at this wonderful piece. Au revoir waltz. That's French for goodbye waltz. Isn't that wonderful? And then here I've added, I know this isn't a French receipt, but Côté is actually a French surname. So I thought that should go in there from the 50s. And this is a plate from a, um, a French uh, art book called uh, from uh, uh, Jean Hugo and a, I, it's just wonderful. It's a, a Parisian street there. I'm just, I'm, if I sound flustered, it's just because I'm so excited. And this came from a 1923 French book as well. So some French cartoons here and a fun image on the other side. Really cool feel to that paper, by the way. I've never felt anything like it. The French uh, publishers from the early 1900s had the most beautiful paper uh, in their publications. This is from a French crossword puzzle from the 1930s as well. Another one from Le Pie Charnel. Uh, just a really fun image there, which I love. There's a lesson book. And there's another set of poems there. This pocket here, again, from the French English Dictionary, Joyeux, which is cheerful, joy, or merry. And in here is a page from a Paris France Almanac, which I just thought had the best advertisements on it. Really, really fun. And of course that is from Paris, so you, you can't do any better than that. This is a uh, antique stamp from 1935 from France, and it says there Paris, France. So cool, eh? Nito Pepito, another French crossword puzzle there, bit. And in here, I made a little page, again, out of uh, Le Petit Chardinel, another great French image there. And in here, I put, this is from a 1950s theater world magazine, and this is uh, from a French play. Isn't that cool? I had so much fun making this. I'll tuck that back in there. Some children's pages from the 30s. There's the fleur de lis down here that I stamped. Some vintage sewing pages. And here's a great page. Look at this wonderful advertisement. Isn't that stunning? Also from the 30s. And this is not French here, but it's a great early 1900s uh, antique book page. Here's another French advertisement, Madame, Mademoiselle. Isn't that great? And this pocket here, I have another French advertisement for knives and forks. Offer exceptionnel, an exceptional offer. Good journal on there. And then he, look at this, the uh, Aplis Saint Cecile Trois Rivières, the Three Rivers. And that is very early uh, 1900s tell by the font on that one and this is from the 1800s 
from a history book, and this is uh, the Marshal of France uh, and the Prince of Moscow. Isn't that neat? Born in 1770. I love it! Okay, this is so cool. So I made this journaling tag here out of another uh, French <laughs> advertisement. Um, save your hair. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. It's actually a picture of a woman's hair there. It's fantastic. Here is a uh, antique photograph. I don't know who these women are, but I'm going to pretend that they are three French women from the 20s because it would be perfect for the journal since I don't know really who they are, where they came from. So let's pretend they are. This is a just a great page from the, um, it's actually about hotels and travel from a theater arts magazine from the 1940s. That one is another wonderful children's book page. Beautiful piece of vintage fabric here, which is wonderful with gold uh, on it. And another wonderful page from that French book I was telling you about there. And more vintage pages and antique pages. And look at this one. Oh, I've got the word amour here. I, I used my die for that and used an antique book page. Look at this. 1940, uh, Nouveau, no, sorry, 1938, December 15th, uh, Nouveau Panorama de la Sienne. Wonderful. Eiffel Tower. Doesn't get any better than that. It's the only uh, antique Eiffel Tower picture that I have, so that's pretty darn cool. Uh, more wonderful children's book pages. Just a really fun little thing here, and this is in French, but it's sweet. This is the cover of the deck of playing cards. You've seen me use these cards if you follow me uh, from the 50s. There's the little cover of the, uh, the deck of cards, the box. Voyager, which is travel. And um, I put that on the highway road map because you travel on roads. So I thought that was appropriate. And this came from uh, the 1890s. It is the foreign embassies in Washington. And this is the French embassy. These are the rooms for the French Embassy in the 1890s. That is really special. Wow, there's more. Stay with me. Okay, I'll try to go fast. Uh, just a really pretty little doily here. It's not French, but it looks French. <laughs> and I, uh, I think a French journal needs lots and lots of lace. And this is a, um, the French equ Equatorial in Africa. And... I stamped the Eiffel Tower down here. And this is another one of those 1850s uh, history pages on France that I wrapped around so you can actually read the whole thing. And look at this wonderful piece of ephemera here. Isn't she beautiful? Rheumatism. Just awesome. I love it so much. It just This just really made me happy to making this journal. And that's all mounted on top of a 1001 household hint. And there's another one. This is from an art book, uh, France and the International Baroque Art. So you can see the Baroque art there from France. And that's just a French advertisement there. And that is a plate from an art book uh, there from a French artist, Hugo. And I did a little more stamping there. I thought that was a fun little multi-pocket piece. A wonderful little children's book page here on hard cardstock and a children's poem. Have to have vintage botanicals in all of my journals. This one is really quite lovely. Look at that. It's not something. Oh, so pretty. And more children's poetry and another wonderful children's fuzzy book page. And that brings us to the end. I love it. I'm putting it on Etsy now, hyperstamper.etsy.com. Um, I don't know how long it'll last, but if you uh, want me to try to save up to make more, just message me. My email's below. And don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you soon.